What's up, everybody? It is early April. Um, the weather seems like it's just about to turn, but the boats are not quite in the water yet because it's still a bit chilly out. Uh, plus, I'm actually in the process of putting a new engine in mine, so that uh, takes a bit of time. But I promise more boating content will come out soon. Um, now, as boaters, we spend all winter dreaming of the day when it's finally nice and warm and we can go out relaxing on the boat. Um, now, when I'm out on the boat, I usually have a go-to playlist of songs that I like to listen to, no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm fishing or relaxing or uh, traveling somewhere. Uh, th these are the songs I really like to go to. Now, the list includes both songs that explicitly revolve around boats or the ocean and the songs that just, you know, give off that relaxing boating vibe. I can't really explain it, but you guys know what it is. Um, I also made a top 11 because I was going to make a top 10 like a normal person, but there was just one song I could not leave off the list, so I decided to expand it to a top 11. Uh, and lastly, this list does not include any pirate music or sea shanties or sailing songs or thing, things like that. Um, they are really cool though, don't get me wrong, but they're so niche that they really deserve their own list for a different day. Um, okay, without further ado, let's start off with some honorable, honorable mentions because that's what all legitimate lists do, am I right? The summer wind Came blowing in from across the sea. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagoomi. In May of 1941, the war had just begun. The Germans had the biggest ship that had the biggest gun. And so began my love affair with water. Just an old powered boat, the 75 Johnson, with electric choke. Okay, now let's get into the list. Coming in at number 11. I never used to miss the chance to climb up on his knee and listen to the many tales of life upon the sea. Now, I don't think there's a boater anywhere who doesn't have at least a few Jimmy Buffett songs on frequent rotation. Um, Jimmy has a few songs on this list, the first of which is The Captain and the Kid. Uh, this is a real tearjerker, and um, it's, it's about a son being fascinated by the stories that his dad would tell him about uh, life on the ocean. Um, it's definitely a song that I can relate to. My dad traveled on boats from all the way up to Canada, all the way down to the southern United States. He was also a, also a commercial clamor for a little bit, so I still love hearing all the stories that he, he has from that time period and just being out on the water because the boating lifestyle will definitely lend itself to some good stories. Um, so this is just a great song about that, and eventually the son realizes why the father holds such an obsession with the ocean, and it lures him in too. It's really a great song, and I, I recommend it. If you really want to know where you can find me I'll be unwinding Down in the islands, down in the islands Like Jimmy Buffett, Zach Brown also has a couple songs on this list, uh, the first of which is Island Song, where he details the pleasures of the carefree lifestyle in some Caribbean island somewhere. Uh, it's a really simple song, but it's really a feel-good song. It'll just put you in that happy place whenever you listen to it, so that's why it's number 10 on the list. But there's this one so far, but yet so near. Jimmy Buffett makes the list again at number nine with one particular harbor. Um, the song is simply about one certain harbor that he loves sailing to and how he needs to get there more. It's super relatable. I'm sure most cruisers really have that one spot that they love and wish they can get there more often. Um, it also uh, begins with Jimmy singing a Tahitian saying, which actually translates to something like the, um, the bounty of the land is exhausted, but there's still abundance in the sea. And I, I just think that's really cool. Wrote a note, saved me back in a minute. Bought a boat and I sailed off in it. Don't think anybody's gonna miss me anyway. All right, we see Zach Brown and Jimmy Buffett collaborating for the number eight song, Knee Deep. 
Um, the lyric, uh, wrote a note, said be back in a minute, boat a boat and I sailed off in it, is probably something that 90% of us have thought of doing at one point or another. Um, life is just better out on the water, and this song is really about wishing to be near the water, where life is just simpler and more carefree. Pour me something tall and strong, make it a hurricane before I go insane. It's only half past twelve, but I don't care. It's five o'clock somewhere. I'm starting to realize just how Jimmy Buffett heavy this list is, but he's also involved in our number seven song with Alan Jackson, It's Five O'Clock Somewhere. Um, it's impossible to find yourself at a tiki bar or a dock and dine somewhere and not hear the song at least once. Um, there's a carefree life at sea vibe that just permeates through it. And uh, the two of them, Alan Jackson and Jimmy Buffett, share a nice little funny dialogue at the end about how Jimmy saw Alan's boat in Margaritaville once, um, which is really cool. There's a place where the boat is from It takes away a little your big problems You could worry you could drop them in the blue ocean But you gotta get away to where the boat leaves from Where the Boat Leaves From is just a great song about how boats and the ocean will almost immediately alleviate all of your land-based problems and you can just leave those problems on land when you're out on the boat, out on the water. Um, and the sea just enables you to escape, even if it's just for one afternoon. And this song is all about the power that comes with that. So that's why it makes number six on the list. Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me. My lover stands on golden sand. Okay, we got an oldie but a goodie coming in at number five in the form of Beyond the Sea by Bobby Darin. Um, I know personally, whenever I'm stuck in an office or behind a computer somewhere instead of out on the boat where I really want to be, I'll be thinking of this song and just thinking about how one day a better life awaits me somewhere uh, beyond the sea, as corny as that sounds. Blue boats Vessels of freedom Harbors of healing boats. A love letter to boats. Kenny Chesney really captures what boaters feel, but they can never really explain when people ask them to justify their obsessions. Um, the song tells three different stories of the relationship between a person and their boat, and I'm sure we can all relate to at least one, if not all three. Um, I do find the song just a little bit cheesy, which is why it doesn't come in higher, but it's really, really a great song about boats, so I really want you guys to check it out. Son of the son of the sailor, the sea's in my veins, my tradition remains, I'm just glad I don't live in a trailer. I don't have too much to say about this one. Uh, perhaps I ranked it a little too high because I relate to it so much coming from um, a long line of sailors and fishermen in my family. Uh, but it's really just a, such a great summer boating song, nautical bells and all. And I encourage anyone who hasn't heard Son of a Son of a Sailor to go check it out. Well, I'm on the down east or Alexa And I'm cruising through Black Island Sound Billy Joel nabs the penultimate spot with the Downeaster Alexa, which chronicles the struggles faced by a Long Island fisherman. It really encapsulates the adversity that the tight regulations put on our nation's fishermen. For those of you who don't know, Billy Joel is himself an avid boater being from Long Island. There's a great article in Soundings Magazine about all the different boats that he's had throughout his life and how he began designing boats. Uh, so it's really, really interesting. It's in Soundings. I think the article is online too. Um, also, all the profits from this song went to commercial fishermen, which I find really cool. So that's why it comes in at number two. Okay, so for those of you who haven't figured out what number one is, you should know by now. Uh, here you go. Mother, mother ocean, I have heard you call. Wanted to sail upon your waters since I was three feet.
I'm sure a lot of you knew this was going to be number one. There really wasn't any other choice to top the list. Uh, for boaters hearing the song for the first time, it's almost somewhat of, initi of an initiation into the obsession that is boating. Uh, it, it seems like a love letter to the ocean, as a man on the verge of turning 40 realizes that he was born too late to be like the pirates that he read about and admired his whole life. Um, there's, like I said, there's no way the song wasn't going to take the top spot, and it belongs on every boating playlist. Alright guys, so that is the definitive list, and all other lists are obviously inferior. Um, <laughs> nah, I'm just messing around. But, although, if you do see a list about boating songs, and A Pirate Looks at 40 isn't number one, I probably would not trust that list. <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching and coming along on this journey with me. Like and subscribe if you like this video, and I will see you later.